Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another video tutorial. On this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix that installation has failed error from trying to install Discord. So pretty much lots of people have been having problems not being able to install Discord for some reason, but we're going to be showing a different route that we're going to extract that file to get Discord working on your computer. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So first thing, I want to let you know that I technically already have Discord downloaded. If you don't have Discord downloaded, then you probably need to download it and that way you'll have this file. You're going to need it in a bit. But for the time period, we do need to figure out what type of, well, which type of operating system your system uses. So if it's a 32-bit or 64-bit. So on the bottom area, open up Explorer. And then underneath this PC, go ahead and select Properties. And then right here, it is letting us know that our system is a system type and it's a 64-bit operating system. So that means that we're going to need to download a file called 7-zip for this to work. So let's go ahead and go up to the web. I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser. And we're going to go ahead and type in 7-zip.org. So right here, 7-zip.org. And then after transferring over, it should be there in a bit you should see that there are two versions, such as the 32-bit or the 64-bit. Mine again was pretty much, I'll show you again just to be sure, that it was a 64-bit right here, system type. If yours is a 32-bit, you would need to choose a 32-bit file underneath the 7-zip for it to work. In conclusion, I think 32-bit can also work on 64, but 64 won't work on 32. So for mine, I'm actually going to choose the 64-bit for it. Once the file has downloaded, go ahead and run that file, and you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes, and press install. After that, you can press close, and we are pretty much good underneath this part right here. I'm going to go ahead and exit this out too. Next, I'm going to go ahead and open up Explorer and go to my downloads. Depending where you have your file, the Discord file, you will need to find your location. If not, download Discord and to get this file. I'll give you the link for it too. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to extract this file. So you would select it and right click on it and select 7-zip and scroll down until you see extract to discord setup slash right here. And here is the folder right there. So that's pretty much what's created. And it pretty much is the folder that contains everything. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and press cut. And we can set this instead of being here in downloads, we're just going to toss it into C drive. You can put it right here. That's all you really need to do. You can change the name and folder if you want to. It's an optional. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm going to go ahead and expand to that. And then you should have a file that's something like this. This is Discord, dash, and then some number, dash, full, and NUPKG. It's pretty much it contains a package right there. We're actually going to right click on that again. And we're going to go to 7-zip and extract it. That same folder, Discord, dash, the numbers pretty much percentage pretty much dash full slash so let's go ahead and select it and let it do its work again all right so pretty much here's the folder that got created we're going to go ahead and expand that and then we're going to go to if i'm correctly to a folder named library lib lib and we're going to choose the next folder says net 45 I'll expand that and then we do see a list right here that contains discord so right click on discord and we're going to choose send to desktop create shortcut so now technically here's discord and the files there i'm actually going to go ahead and press right click and press rename to make it a little bit more nice on there instead of having the stupid dash shortcut and there it is i'm going to go ahead and click the file and discord should start powering up And here we have it. Discord should be working perfectly fine on your computer. If you're still getting this issue, a pop-up decided to come up from the browser. If you're still getting this issue, there might be another one that, depending if you don't have um, .NET installed on your computer, so I'll probably make another video for that. But from this point, you should be good. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. 
Thanks for watching guys, if you just like this video then hit that button, but if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description, and for the rest I will see you on the next video.